Well, guys, it's the best time of the week. A new episode of Text to Skyrim, the cursed mod that lets my horrible Twitch chat voice NPCs. And if they die in the game, they get banned in real life. Last week, we finished up the finale of season one, and I'm so excited. Today, we have a little filler episode that might be the best one yet. Now, remember always, if you wanna watch live or participate in voice a character, go to twitch.tv slash blurbs. And as always, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications enabled so you don't miss a single episode. Do it for Betty, guys. Look at her. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Previously, on text to Skyrim. This is where that, that snot-nosed brat is dealing. Oh, he, he tripped! I knew it! He's moving the product! Oh, you were so busted! I think we need to do a stakeout. Oh! You! I knew it! it it's the kids! Tell us right now! Okay, okay. He'll talk. Oh my god! We found him! That's all you've got! You shouldn't have messed with me. With the final blow struck and the last bit of moonweed confiscated, our favorite mortal lives on to be high as a kite. Hey, Astrid, do you have something to say to me? I do, but it seems I've lost my train of thought. Oh, okay. Uh, how's your day going? It's been great, but it's better you here. Oh, that's nice. What, are, you don't like our other coworkers? Are they a little weird? Very, I tried sleeping, but there's a mouth breather in the bunk over. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Geralt? Hold on, Geralt. Whoa. Wait, what the fuck? Geralt, get up. Let's talk to you. Hello. Oh, hello there. Apologies, I've been Whoa. rather scatterbrained this morning. How can I help you? <gasps> you are a light sleeper. Holy shit. <laughs> you uh heard any rumors lately? You know, you got any tea? Absolutely. Oh, really? Well, let's hear it. I heard Geralt has been fooling around with the Argonian behind his wife's back. Oh, scandalous. Oh my God. Who's his wife? Some woman in the Brotherhood. We haven't spoken much, I'm afraid. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well, hey, your secret is safe with me. Oh my God, I'm bursting. I have to tell someone, I have to tell someone. So. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? No, but I hear uh, there's a rumor going around about uh, you and your buddy Geralt. You just sit here and watch him all day? Yes, he's my crush. <laughs> You know he's married, right? You you know he's married. His white locks send me feral a wah wah wah. <laughs> I don't care. Ring doesn't mean anything. Wow, you're kind of a, a sleaze bag. I mean, look, I've heard of Geralt's adventures. He is a bit of a of a uh, he gets around. I'm a wanderer. Yeah, whatever you gotta tell yourself to sleep. Now where is that? Where is that guy? Better yet, who's his wife? Someone in the brother brotherhood. Oh my god, I bet it's asked her. Dude, it's totally asked her. <gasps> they sleep together right here. Oh my god. Get up. I think I nicked my boys on the grinder. Owie owie, <laughs> clumsy me. Anyways, let me continue my story. No, 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 no. Hold on there. I've heard some rumors about you. Are you uh are you close with uh, anyone particular in the brotherhood? Besides your wife, asked her. You get along with everyone here? My wife? No, no. I meant just like anyone else, you know? The older folks, some of the vampires, the Argonian maybe. I, uh, I've heard things. We're all bros here. A little more than bros, from what I've we heard. We get wet, we get wild. Ew, I don't need to know specifics. Does, does your wife know? Does she know about you and, and the Argonian? Hey, hey, don't go back to sleep! In the dark, what's the difference, baby? Quit avoiding the question. Does Astard know? She's a cut queen. So, uh, you don't, you don't mind if I go ask her about it then, do you? She loves to see me go wolf mode on that Argonian bussy. Nope, you know what, go back to sleep. You're good, go, you know what, actually, go back to sleep. <sighs> we need to, we need to talk. <clears throat> We need, we need to talk. Oh, hey there, Dragonborn. How's your adventures been treating you? You suck the souls of any dragons lately. No, but I think your husband might. Do you, do you know about what your, your, your boy Geralt's been up to? Beg your pardon. Um, he, uh... Always hanging around that slimy green lizard bugger down in the water pits. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, that's what I've heard. He, uh, he says you're in on it but i wasn't really I think nothing of it but now i come to think of it he spends an oddly amount of time with him 
You thinking what I'm thinking? I am. I think you need to go on down to the lawyer guild and uh, <laughs> lawyer up because, yeah, it's not looking good. Point me the direction. How about this? I will go on a quest to find you the best lawyer in Skyrim from the Lawyers Guild. I will do that for you, asked Herd. How's that? Please do, because if you don't, I will slay him in sleep. Okay. Hold off on that. And don't say that out loud, actually, because that's that could be used against you. So And let you consume his nope. body and soul. Don't. I don't know what you mean by that. Maybe keep those thoughts on the inside. <clears throat> we... <laughs> well, I might have to go to Better Call S Solitude. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, stay busy. Keep working. Oh, chat. This is messy. This is messy, man. Who the fuck is this guy? Bro, are you okay? An elderly but hardy cattleman from Texas once told a young female neighbor if she wanted to live a long life, the secret was to sprinkle a pinch of gunpowder on her oatmeal each morning. She did this religiously and lived to the age of 103. She left behind 14 children, 30 grandchildren, 21 great-grandchildren, and a 40-foot hole where the crematorium used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that joke would blow up. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, Christ, look at all these people. You! Greetings, stranger. I'm a renowned mage, specializing in the fine arts of illusion. Care Ooh. to witness my new experimental spell? Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually. Hocus pocus, I cast manual breathing and manual thinking. <laughs> wow, how does it feel? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Worst spell ever. Hey, don't, don't talk to the guy in the corner, all right? I have information on the clip. Well. Lawyer Guild. Where would I find a Lawyer Guild? Hey, you! Traveler, are you ready to experience the ultimate adventure? Dive into Raid Shadow Legends, unleash no. your inner warrior, and no, the no, world of no, we're not. No, Choose I shut Victorians. your mouth. I'm not being paid for that. Where is the Lawyer College Guild? I'll toss you over these goddamn walls. <laughs> if you blow that motherfucking horn one more time. My name is David Goonings. Stay hard, motherfucker. Not hiring you. I'm looking for the lawyer college. Can you can you help me find it? Pardon my language, good sir. The lawyer college, fortunately, is in this very city. Fantastic. I'm looking for the best lawyer in Tamriel. You found him. Oh, have I? Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, I've had to take up a side job. <laughs> Work isn't too good, huh? Where are all the other lawyers, though? <clears throat> Where's the college? Can you take me there? I, uh... You don't need to know that. Ah, uh, let's let's go see your lawyer friends. Now, where is this uh, Bard College? Surely it's in here somewhere. Is in the basement? I mean, uh, lawyer college. Excuse me. You know, I've been so holed up in this place, I sort of forgot. Don't worry, though. Yeah, no, I'm I'm I'll find it. Oh, okay. We need to step outside of the tavern first. Okay. Okay, we should head to your right. This right? This way. way. Oh. Okay. Yes. This way. Yes. Okay. No, this is right. Fuck no wrong way. Well, bro, don't tell me to go wrong this way. way. Okay, don't tell me to go this way. Dude. Don't dude me. You get better at giving directions, motherfucker. Not in the tower. Is it this? Catacombs? No. <laughs> oh my God, stop. I, I'm stop, dude. You're really not convincing me you're a good lawyer. You're pretty bad at this. Walk a little back in my direction. Okay. No more. Okay. Now what? No more. Okay. I'm actually sobbing my eyes out. Head northwest on your compass, so straight ahead. Okay. Is this it? Hello, friend. Have I ever told you about the time I made sweet feathery love to a chicken? This doesn't sound like the bar the lawyer college. Yes, here we are at last. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's meet some lawyers. Oh my God, is this the is this the head lawyer? Is he the lawyer principal? No, that's a chef. Oh my God, I've heard of your lawyerings, <laughs> Chef Lawyer D. <laughs> you, excuse me. Did Crinkle underscore tell you they were the best lawyer in the world? Has a clown. You won't get any sense out of them. Wow! Oh my god! Shots fired! You know what? Why don't you follow me? 
All right. I need the best lawyer. I need... I need you two to have a lawyer off. Who's bet? Who gets to come with me for the the case of the century? Remember, look. You need to look at your opponent. Look your opponent in the eye. How could you? Oof! He's cracking. He's crumbling. Look at your opponent. Who here is the best lawyer? Well, put it this way: if Crinkle underscore was representing you, you'd end up spending ten times the sentence. Oof! Not true. I've won a number of cases. The entire duration of my studies, Going I've been humiliated publicly by you all okay well it sounds like you're just bitching and moaning that's not good lawyering you're just you didn't just all you did was just complain humiliated sure you did that to yourself my dude the fallen child had zero evidence <laughs> your name is literally egg fried cheese but your parents <laughs> hate you how does that feel personal insults order i'm loved by the rest of town though that's what matters right well, actually, this is an out of town. This is a out of town case. So that's not going to help you at all. Well, exactly. That aside, I believe the trial Ooh. was hijacked. I like his posture. I like his posture. That looks like a good lawyer. And the suspect is right beside me. Oh, he's calling you dirty. Chat, as a jury of their peers, chat, you're going to decide who gets to be the one to take they the case. I don't know. He keeps putting his hands behind his back, and that, that makes me feel like he's a better lawyer. You should elect me because I have boobies. That's what matters. Okay, that's, that's, that's not a matter of opinion. That's facts. Those are facts. There's no hearsay. But he does put his hands behind his back when he talks. I don't know. If you select me, I have morale, I have redemption, I have value. He was the lowest scoring lawyer in the class. He only passed because he gave the teacher a reach ten around. Inches. <laughs> oh, ooh, drama. No, that's not even, where did you hear that? So he doesn't even deny it either. I know, I, he's flustered, look at him. He doesn't even have his hands behind his back anymore. Am I not allowed to be a little whorish, a little whimsical? My private life does not matter. Ah, uh, I mean, if it got you to your degree... I will not crumble. Whoa, whoa, inappropriate! Ten times his sentence professional. Hold on, uh, order! Inappropriate. Order, please. Look, I can do it better. Okay, oh, that's not... <laughs> okay, that, hey, that is better, though. Apologies. Look. That was better, actually. You have no cake. <laughs> crinkle by a landslide. Oh, you vote crinkle? Yes. I have to say, I apologize for being so cruel to you. You need to go back to school, miss. Boom. We've got our lawyer chat. It's time for the case of the century. Actually, you know what? Before we leave, hold on. We cannot go to the biggest, the, the case of the century with you dressed like that. You look fucking awful. We gotta get you some new threads before we leave. Ma'am, uh, do you have any recommendations for my friend here? He's a lawyer. He's just getting back into his practice. It's the case of the century and uh, he needs to look tip top. Oh yeah, I have to sell you clothes. Right, yeah, exactly. So what would you recommend for my friend here? He's just getting back into lawyering. Your friend is living in the 90s. I know, it's not, it's not great. The like 1690s, yeah, it's not great. Um, what would you suggest? I think anything would be better on him. You know what? Fair. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he is going to look so... Holy shit, that's expensive. But something that can shine those juicy muscles would be amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mr. Blurbs, I must thank you for your consideration on my attire. I've never felt better. <laughs> he looks so good. It's, that's a glow up. Bonafide Rizzler. Okay. What do you think? He looks perfect for a case. Also unrelated, I'm glad that the doors have keyholes. It was an enjoyable experience. With the lawyer now drip maxed, Blurbs <laughs> continues onward to win the case. Yes. The rizzed out lawyer is sure to win it for Blurbs. With their new found hope, they head off into the sunset. Eh, not exactly. Okay, I gotta prep. I gotta. Oh, shit. I gotta prep you here, bud. Okay? They don't like visitors here, it's actually against the rules. But this being... What was that? Nothing. This being the top case in all of Skyrim, um, we've made special exceptions, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in... I see. That's no problem, Sarah. I can tolerate that. My name is not Sarah. I'm gonna introduce you to your client, Miss Asturd, and while you 
speak with her. I am going to go grab the defendant and a witness. Mr. Blurbs, then. That was uh, better. Mr. Mr. Geralt will be representing himself. Okay. Skyrim in order. This is big. Everything's led up to this. This is the biggest case. I did it. Miss Asturd, I'm back with the best lawyer from the Lawyers Guild in Better Call Solitude for you. Listen, I only have- You, what? What do you mean? I've never left this room. I was born right there where you were standing. You can still see the spot where my little baby head hit the floor. Maybe TMI. Anyway, can I help you? Yes, as I said, I have found you the best lawyer as you requested. Thank goodness I'm so liable. I am going to go grab the defendant and the witness. I would like you to get to know your representation, okay? The trial is going to begin shortly. I'll let him know about my expertise making gum. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you Mr. Geralt? Yes, hello. Off! Oh, uh, you've been served, okay? That's for you. I'm going to need you to um, join me in our impromptu courtroom. This is the, uh, this is the defendant. Witness! You're, you've been called as a witness. Will you please join me in the courtroom? Yes, Blubs man. Gerald of Rivia, you stand here <laughs> accused of cheating, adultery, and lollygagging. Oof, sorry, mortal. I'm just getting into this so much. I'm on the edge of my fucking seat here. Can't wait for the court case and summary execution after. <laughs> Little corner lurker. I hope it's not another goon corner, sir. No, you cannot goon before the case. God, what's going on in there? Okay. Gee, whoa, I know you're angry. I know you're angry. Please put the weapon, put the weapon down. Put the weapon. Yes, Blobs man. Down. Sorry, I was just practicing. Okay, to the courtroom with you. Just just plop, flop your way there. Uh, order. We're here for the case of Miss Asturd versus Gerald of Rivia. Uh, you've been accused of adultery with this Argonian gentleman uh, with the sword here. Uh, we'll, we'll take opening statements first from uh, the plaintiff, uh, Miss Asturd, and her representation, uh, the, must say, flyest uh, looking lawyer in all of uh, Skyrim. So yeah, uh, why don't you uh, start with your opening statement? Mr. Geralt, you stand before us accused of adultery. My client, Mrs. Asturd, who I represent, has shared <laughs> with me that this has deeply affected her trust in you. This has evoked psychological torment upon your wife, whom has been bound to you by the goddess Mara. Mr. Geralt, if you would like to object and make a statement, do so now. I understand the gravity of the situation. However, I must insist that these accusations are unfounded. My life as a witcher involves <laughs> frequent travels and dangerous encounters, but I have always remained loyal to Astrid. With any evidence presented forward, I will gladly address them. My apologies, I am but a blacksmith. Nevertheless, I still insist that these accusations are unfounded. Okay, let's start with the plaintiff. Uh, why don't you ask your first questions, and then we will call the witness afterwards. Currently, you are employed as an assassin of the Dark Brotherhood and not a witcher. I can infer this from your uniform and the motif of the black hand upon it. May I also ask, Mr. Geralt, did you or did you not quote that you go wolf mode on the Argonian bussy, end quote? This is nothing but hearsay. Without undeniable proof, there is no case. I've always remained faithful to my wife. I'm cooked, chat. I believe that Mr. Geralt is avoiding the question. May we question the Argonian whose bussy was a victim of being ate and gobbled up wolf mode? Additionally, I believe you are a lycanthrope, Mr. Geralt. Uh, I do have evidence just coming in here. Uh, we've just got some evidence. She loves to see me go wolf mode on that Argonian bussy. You've just been shown proof. I remind you that I referred to she. She being the wife. She was okay with this situation. How about we call in Mrs. Astard? Mrs. Astard, if you could rise to the stand as witness and explain your opinion on this. This may aid to find the origin of the tape. All right. Oh, something to say? She cannot be a witness. She is the plaintiff. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, overruled. She, she can obviously speak for herself. All right. Miss asked her, are you asleep? We're literally in a trial for you. You are suing this man and wait, and you're sleeping. Or can you not even bear to look at him? I would just like to say absolutely okay, obliterate Geralt, please. <laughs> Get me everything in this divorce. He broke my heart and now I want to break his bank. Just because I can't meet his particular kink of regrowing a tail. <laughs> okay. 
Order, order. Please leave uh, personal accusations <laughs> out of this. Uh, Miss Astor, can you please share with, with the jury here how uh, Mr. Gerald's actions have affected you? He would come home late, covered in scales, smelling like a sewer. It was heartbreaking. <clears throat> I would wait for him in my best leathers. Please continue. Let us know when you've, when you've said your piece. Yet he had no appetite for me. Just went on and on about that Argonian bussy. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your, your brave testimony. May we call in another witness jury? Uh, yes, who would, you, who would you like to call? Would be vital to the case. The female Dunmer who spread the rumors, may we invite her to the courtroom? We, we could. Is there anything you would like to ask the Argonian currently in the room first? Or would you like to speak to the, the Dunmer first? May I speak to Mr. Geralt first? Uh, yes. Uh, go ahead. Mr. Geralt, as victim, I would like to say Mrs. Astard's presence is greater than valid. <laughs> if Mrs. Astard was so fine with it, why did she seek legal advice? Furthermore, why did she say she would, quote, kill you in your sleep if you did not divorce? You misunderstand me. I do agree that she is allowed to take the stand. But as a witness, she is unreliable as she has ulterior motives. Do you have evidence to support this statement, Mr. Geralt? Anybody who does, please rise to the stand. You've just seen her threaten murder, and I have been nothing but civil. This is way better than suits. Hey, dude, hey, someone get HBO on the phone. Distaste to look someone in the eye is not proof of anything. This is, this is, oh my God. I would just like the jury to remember that when we first met Astard, she was kidnapping random orphan slayers and the making them take- contact may suggest fear or disappointment within the victim. Additionally, your initial refusal to discuss the case and your indecent exposure suggests guilt. We live in a world where one can be bewitched at a moment's notice. I didn't say I was bewitched. I've been nothing but of sane mind. I mean that at any notice, a case like this could show up. Isn't it perfect for Astrid that she mentions wanting to take everything away from me? Mr. Geralt, where were you on the night of Bussy destruction? Are there any witnesses to support this? We should call in the female Dunmer as additional witness. Um, yes, I will, I'll allow it. Bring in the, the female Dunmer and reminder that the, Argon the Argonian with the sword and the bussy is still in the corner, okay? So yes, let's, uh, let's bring in the surprise witness. Uh, excuse me. Hey, sweetie. Uh, ma'am, you've been called as a witness in Skyrim's biggest court case. Will you please follow me to the courtroom? Of course, just toss me there. <laughs> Okay, can do. do 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 Are we all present? Okay, Mr. Lawyer, please continue with your line of questioning. Uh, we have the witness, the Dunmer who uh, spread these rumors initially. The floor is yours. Presuming, Mrs. Onion, may we hear your testament and the origin of these rumors? I seen it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your very detailed testimony. <laughs> that changes everything. Mrs. Where did you first hear these rumors? The sound of hissing and howling is how I heard it. Can you support the testimony that uh, the the Dunmer uh, seen it? I can support it. She came to me with this fork after the deed, covered in scales used for, well, you know. Oh, I <laughs> excuse me. I. <laughs> I didn't say there was a recess, Mr. Gerald. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gerald, um, here's your, uh, please stay awake. Uh, your chance to cross-examine, uh, the, the Dunmer witness. Uh, please go ahead. People of the jury, don't you find it strange that the judge is advocating for the plaintiff? Additionally, wasn't he the one that went and found her lawyer? I find this quite a sham trial. Overruled! You you stated you were representing yourself. Regardless. You, I'm not the witness. You're you're if you don't ask the witness a question, I will uh bar you from court. Contempt, filibuster. If you don't want to cross-examine the witness, then we will move on. I do believe, as I've mentioned, there is no physical evidence that the events have happened, other than witnesses that are again unreliable. These are murders for hires. Oh, Mr. Lawyer, something for you to say. Please present the, the fork. Gods, I don't want to touch this thing. Do you have said evidence on you? So here it is, gross, disgusting puke. Okay, she gave me a fork. Here, here we are. Please present this fork to Mr. Geralt. Geralt, sir, do you recognize this fork? 
Uh, Mr. Gerald, please wake up. Do you recognize the fork? So, a fork is the evidence. Hold on, let me go get a spoon from my cutlery. Uh, oh, uh, please answer the question. Yes, I recognize that fork. That Argonian always scrubs themselves with it. Well, it might be time. Under closer inspection, this fork looks like bussy juice. How absurd and... Uh, uh Mr. Lawyer Man, may I suggest calling the Argonian to the stand? May we bring the Argonian to the stand? Exactly. Put the bussy fork here. All right, Mr. Argonian is here. Um, please uh, begin your line of questioning. Mr. Argonian, you are accused of having your bussy destroyed. May I confirm you are familiar with the evidence and these scales are yours? Please answer the question. I'm sorry, I don't remember much. My head hurts. I think I hit it in the way here. Uh, I believe that's that's called pleading the fifth. Mr. Argonian, take your time if you're physically injured, but answer truthfully. Oh, it's coming back to me. The fork. He told me it was this here sword. He betrayed me by destroying my precious bussy with the fork. <gasps> while promising the sword. <gasps> Gasp! Mr. Argonian, a strange question aside from your throat abilities, were, but may I inquire about the sounds you make during intercourse? I feel violated. Gluck, gluck. Oh. Okay, I think that's sufficient. That is enough. Oh, Christ. Are you, are you done with your line of questioning? Are you ready for the jury to decide? We, we still have to let Mr. Gerald cross-examine. May I just confirm with Mrs. Dunmer that these are the sounds she heard? We can then take it back to the jury. Mrs. Dunmer, are these the sounds that you heard? I'm reliable AF, you red rocket motherfucker. Also, when you bust, don't point it at hey, the person uh, uh, you uh, got my eye. Ah, uh, order! Answer the question! And don't use that kind of language in my courtroom. Also gross. Shri, yes. That is, that is what sh the noises that she heard. It is now time for Mr. Gerald to be able to cross-examine. Do you rest your case? I see. She does seem like she has an eye infection too. I rest my case. Your Honor, let us cross-examine. Gerald, wake up! It's time for you to cross-examine. They've rested their case. Sorry, Your Honor. I have narcolepsy. It's okay. None of this matches with the original statements. They've been changing their tune since the beginning. Regardless, let me cross-examine. Yes, please. Mr. Argonian, what day is today? <laughs> Thursday. Thursday? I've never heard of such a day in Tamriel. This person is clearly confused. Oh, oh shit. And has no recollection of absolutely anything. <gasps> oh, my God. Mic drop. I request this trial nullified. Your Honor, your jury, I rest my case. Oh, <laughs> All right, will you all please wait here while the jury deliberates? 68%, almost 69. 68%, oh my gosh. All right, <clears throat> Miss Asturd, Mr. Gerald, the jury has found the defendant, Mr. Gerald, innocent of all charges, innocent. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the jury? Now that I've been acquitted, let me get back to that lizard bussy. <laughs> we just did all this. What do you mean? Damn it. Double jeopardy. He can't be tried twice for the same crime. Fuck. You're on your own. I guess I'll just take it out of my own pocket to cure my scaly transmitted disease then. This is a travesty. <laughs> How am I supposed to afford my quick kill orphan business now? Oh my God. You'll figure out something, I'm sure. Your, your services are no longer needed. Um, best of luck. I'm sorry you didn't win this this huge case, but you did a you did your best. Enjoy the, the new threads. Actually, actually uh, I'm sorry. I did pay for those, um, so I actually am going to need those back. Sorry, I am going to need... I am going to need all of that back. But you know what? Um, best of luck to you uh, in your lawyerings. Maybe go Cold. back to the inn or, you know... Uh, a j <laughs> some uh you know maybe you can take up dancing i mean the the elf yeah the elf still uh maybe you can like stay at her inn uh y you have to leave you can't you can't yeah can we get claps for everyone involved in that that might be the best episode we've had so far that was top to bottom improv and oh my god that was so stupid